come back. Well, those of us looking for love will take help where they can get it. And sometimes that help may come <laughs> from a giant man-eating plant <laughs> that always seems to be hungry. <laughs> well, at least that's part of the plot of the next production to hit the stage at Circle Theater. The dark comedy Little Shop of Horrors promises to bring great music and even greater laughs. We have the co-directors Marcus Jordan and Ellie Francis here with us this morning. Hey, guys. How are hey, you? Hey, good morning. Thanks for being here. Really yeah. quickly, for those who uh, may not have known or seen the movie with Rick Moranis, uh, tell us a little bit about the plot of this movie. What's Little Shop of Horrors all about? Oh, it's all about a lot of things. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah um, you know the the main plot point that most people recognize is that it's you know it's set in a plant shop in, on Skid Row. Um, it's typically set in um, L.A. Some versions do it in New York. Um, our version leaned into the L.A. West Coast mm. version, of course, um, and. From that plant shop, we just we meet a bunch of different characters that live in this community. And in our production, we really leaned into expanding that community with a pretty large cast. We have a, um, a large, incredible ensemble of people that build the world of Skid Row, um, multiple generations. We've got kids running around. Mm. We've got um, folks representing more maternal characters that are there to like take care of each other. Um, and then, you know, there is this need to kind of break out of some perspective perceived expectations. That's a big part of our, our thoughts on this show too. The 60s were all about perception and, and wanting to like strive for the ideal. And so the show, you know, is a comedy, but it's also a horror. It's a sci-fi horror film too. So there's a lot of campness and a lot of extreme plot points. Um, but throughout it, you meet some really fun characters. You meet Seymour, who works in a plant shop for Mr. Mushnick. You meet Audrey, who also works in the plant shop. And the two of them have this like parallel need to get out of where they are and and these expectations and and then along the way this giant man-eating plant comes along <laughs> to just throw a little wrench in there and and really um really bring everybody together and and move through it so, absolutely yeah. yeah and so tell us a little bit about the music too and kind of the history behind it and and <laughs> what feelings and, and things does it invoke here? um the 60s were an exciting time. There's so much going on politically in our country with the civil rights movement um, and just the younger generation wanting to break free of this kind of rigidness of the 50s. Um, so you're getting away from like American standards kind of things like uh, Frank Sinatra, that kind of thing, Rat Pack stuff into Big Mama Thornton. More, big, big Mama Thornton and uh, Chuck Berry, mm -hmm. um, all, all folks that Elvis was um, inspired by. Um, so this need to be physically and emotionally free is um, what is peppered in the music. And it's super exciting and uh, thrilling. So like the score is fun. We got the, the Shirelles in there. Barry Gordy had moved Motown over to the LA in 1967. So we also have um, this iconic sound from the Midwest moving over to Chicago. Chicago, so we've got all those things peppered in, and the score is brilliant. Yeah. And the singers in this cast are just incredible. Okay. All right, guys, we yeah. gotta get we gotta get people to the show. Yeah, yes. absolutely, right? I'm sold, I'm sold, I know the right? passion is run run dates and, and ticket info. When when we start? Sure, we open this Thursday. We run until the 24th. We have three weekends. Um, the curtain is 7:30 from. Thursday, one, one Wednesday to Saturday, and we do have one sat Sunday matinee on the okay. 18th. So that perfect. Sunday matinee is going to be at 3 o'clock. All right, perfect. Uh, and yeah. people want tickets, they want more information, head your website. Absolutely, circletheater.org. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you both so much. Thank you for having us. I mean, who wouldn't want to go see the show after that? You guys <laughs> sold it. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> thank you.